For some people, cars are nothing more than a means of transportation. But there is another way that you can look at a car, as a thing of beauty and a work of art. American teenagers' love of speed has given us first the hot rod and then the drag racer. Mexican Americans, on the other hand, have focused on how the car looks instead of how fast it goes. They've taken the ordinary gas-guzzling Detroit monster and transformed it into a unique cultural symbol. In Mexican culture, beauty is part of everyday life, something to be shared with others. Mexican painters took art out of museums and put it on walls for everyone to see. Chicanos have put art on wheels. The car is ornate, sleek, and low, driven slowly so it can be better appreciated. To the community, it is an indication of its owner's status and taste. To the outside world, a symbol of the independence of the culture. I'm just trying to tell them that, you know, like you're united, you can, you know, be doing something, not just like what they're doing, you know. It is a low rider, and the way that it is put together, and the way that it is driven, is art. Not museum art, but popular art, folk art, living art. The car, to me, is a sign of their creativity, and they like to show it off, and, and very rightly so. Originally, it was a question of economics. As few Chicanos could afford new cars, old cars were lovingly restored and decorated. In the 1940s, wearing a zoot suit or driving a lowrider was an expression of cultural identity for Mexican Americans. Yet to the general public, the clothes and the cars were somehow un-American and associated with criminal activity. Lowrider to me was, I did that 25 years ago and my wife gets mad because I still carry two pictures of my car when I was in high school. The zoot suit disappeared for a while, but lowriding has never lost its popularity with young Chicanos to many blacks, Asians, and Anglos. Unfortunately, many of the old misconceptions about low riding have also survived. Yeah, I really think it's a lot of stereotyping because, you know, most of the people that have custom cars and that fix them up, you know, they're all hardworking people that have to earn their money to fix up their cars. Low riding has flourished in cities like Los Angeles and San Jose, cities that are defined by the automobile. Publications like Lowrider Magazine, which dubbed San Jose the lowrider capital of the world, have had an effect in promoting lowriding as an important aspect of Chicano culture. This program is also an attempt to define the essence of lowriding and to trace its roots in the Mexican-American community. I, I look at it this way. It's coming up and it's coming down because that's the way the hydraulics work. custom car lowered almost to the ground. What else is there to say? That low riding is a way of life? That the process itself can be as important as the result? A car like this, maybe it don't look nice, but to the person driving it, that means a lot. I want people to notice it, that I really spend a lot of work and time into it. Something to catch the attention of a car show or a judge or just a group of people out in the street. Pride, the pride comes with every car, no matter what the condition or the car is. Yes. The pride is always there. But what is it that makes a car a lowrider? Custom bodywork, interiors, and special wheels are important elements. The low part in lowrider comes from hydraulic pumps that are installed in the trunk, allowing the cars to be raised or lowered at will. Before the introduction of hydraulics, lowriders used to cut the car springs or sometimes just throw bags of cement in the trunk to lower the car. Some do the work themselves, Others go to pros who specialize in custom work and hydraulic installation. It's done, man. Check it out or what? Yeah, go ahead. Is that how they work? Trying to. <laughs> they got one switch for directional valve and one for up and down. Here's a directional right here. That's like an instant tear cutter. Have it all the way down first, hit the directional, raise the back to anywhere you want it, and this you could raise the front to anywhere you want it without. You pull up beside some old ladies and just drop your car, and they think your car broke down. Raise it right back up and just surprise the heck out of them. 
More than anything else, it's the paint job that draws your eye to the car. Brilliant lacquers and flowers, intricate pinstriping, and murals that range from Star Wars to the Mexican Revolution. Some cars are subdued, others are an explosion of color. Rod guy wants it black lacquer rubbed out and that's it. Maybe a few flames. Maybe a few flames, maybe some pinstriping, but they're very meticulous. Well, the lowriders are too, but they have a lot more color. A lowrider will come in here and he'll he'll say, hey, I want it. I saw one of your cars in the show. Or I'd like to have it faded in blues, or I'd like to have a faded pinstripe in murals. Well, what do you want on the mural? I basically put the whole car together for him. Many of the people that work on lowriders are not Chicanos. The point is not who does the work, but whose values and culture the work expresses. I'm, I'm Sicilian. I'm not, yeah. I'm not uh, uh, Spanish heritage or anything like that, so it d seems like it doesn't make any difference. All they want, in essence, is business. They yeah. know that I'm, I'm very picky and, and very meticulous, and it's got to be to the point where I have to be happy with the car, and I will not rush for anybody. There's only so much you can do with custom paint, then there's an awful lot that you can do with custom paint. Now, I'm personally, maybe a lot of people might think I'm just blowing smoke or whatever, but custom painting is, a, is, a, is an art form all its own, and it's a very, 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 very demanding business. The finished car cries out to be admired, to be shown off. Some cars are so ornate and fancy that they are no longer functional objects, but pure art, only to be seen at car shows. But the real action has always been on the streets, where beautiful cars provide the excuse for the cruising scene, a social ritual that traces back to the paseo, or promenade of small Mexican towns, where young men stroll around the square in one direction and young women in another. Come out here and meet the girls. Uh -huh. you know, if you have a nice car, then it's even easier to meet the girls. You just pull up to somebody, and it was just a way of just greeting each other. You'd have two cars parked and just start hopping away. On the boulevard, hopping is just part of the social scene, but it has also developed into an exciting sport, the hopping contest. Man. And you know what, Charlie Man? That's a beautiful car. 